a receiver that is ready to go but is wanting some money is Houston Texans wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. And he says, quote, he wasn't trying to send a message, end quote, uh, with his brief holdout before reporting to first practice of training camp on Monday. In his first public comment since the holdout, Hopkins repeatedly pushed questions regarding his contract status toward his agent and the Houston front office, led by general manager Rick Smith, quote, they handled that. Uh, and also saying, all I do is go out here, play football, I let them do the negotiating, end quote. Now, Hopkins, who's entering his fourth year of his rookie contract, did not report the first practice uh, of Houston's training camp on Sunday. The absence earned him a $40,000 fine. By afternoon, Hopkins said in a statement to ESPN that he would be returning to the team, adding that he was disappointed that the Texans had elected not to enter contract negotiations. Quote, I wasn't trying to send a message or anything like that. I was doing what I felt was best for my, me and my family, end quote. And you, and you can't blame him. You can't blame him for this, uh, for, hold, for doing a, a little holdout, because I think while he wasn't sending, trying to send a message, he was definitely sending a message. It just got ignored. Uh, I, I would have thought, I, me, if I was in, in general manager position, in the front office position, I would have been like, okay, it is definitely a message. We need to pay this guy. But it looks like right now the Texans are on the upper hand. And I'll tell you why here in just a bit. Now, again, by reporting the practice before Wednesday, Hopkins, you know, while he lost that 40000 he got that little fine, which I know I say it's little, uh, he is now eligible to collect his $445,004. Don't forget the $4 here. I'm serious. It's $445,004 roster bonus on Thursday. So he lost forty grand. So he's really getting four hundred five thousand and four dollars. I mean, still not bad. It's, it's it's kind of like you're just gambling with a, a high you know high amount, and you got four hundred thousand instead of four hundred forty five. Whatever. Anyways, now Hopkins, he, he deserves a contract. I, I'm not I'm not disagreeing at all. He deserves a contract, a, a much bigger contract, and this is the time to do it. Now Hopkins, he had hundred and eleven catches last season. 1,500 yards and 11 touchdowns. Now, to most, you're thinking, all right, that's, that's a really good season. That's a really good receiver right there. What makes it even, what makes Hopkins even better is he did it while working with four other quarterbacks. Ladies and gentlemen, he had Brock Os- or He didn't have Brock Os- He had uh, uh, Hoyer, Yates. Who does he have? That's, 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 that's why. That's, that's how good he is. I don't even know who the rest of the quarterbacks were for the Texans, and yet, even though with four different quarterbacks, still had a 1,500-yard season, still had double-digit touchdown season, still had uh, over 100 catches in a season. Give the man money. You want to pay Brock Osweiler some crazy, ridiculous, nonsense contract, but you won't give DeAndre Hopkins a big-time contract. That's a problem. That's a problem right there. Now, uh, because the Texans, again, this is where the Texans have the upper hand here. The Texans picked up his fifth-year option on Hopkins' contract in May. He effectively has two seasons remaining on the contract uh, on this current deal. So Smith said Sunday that the, the, the team's position was firm and that it would not negotiate with Hopkins this season, adding Monday uh, that he was excited and happy to see Hopkins report to camp. General manager Rick Smith is not going to budge, and it looks like DeAndre Hopkins is going to be stuck with the contract he's got right now. Or maybe he's even heartballing him, saying, all right, well, we're going to entertain the contract, but we're not going to show that we are. So that way, maybe you lower your number, and then we'll be, all right, yeah, we can give you that. That's my only thought. I don't know. DeAndre Hopkins deserves it. Let me know if he deserves a contract extension down the bottom uh, in the comment section down below and tweet me at Short Sports Show.